Wall Street looks what like us now. Us now. We're moving the culture, bro. I'm looking like I'm walking back. The Wall Street Trapper will be making his appearance. I didn't know you guys were in the room. Give it up for your leisure, y'all. Give it up for Wall Street Trapper. I'll be I like seeing people put in work because we all on the same goal. That's what I said. We all got the same goal. We all got the same mission. We all just in a different vehicle. Yeah. That vehicle is just like ours, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have a voice. We all have a knowledge and the experience that we teaching from. We got to start attaching our wealth to something that has value, whether it's stocks, whether it's crypto, whether it's real estate, something that value keeps increasing. My wife, when I was doing the crypto, I was like, yo, I'm about to put some money into it. She's like, how much? <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm how much? And we just meet people where they at with me. We meet them wherever they at. We meet them where they at. Like, tell them, that's it. Like, there is no, I'm too old, I'm too young. Now nah, you're the perfect age. Wherever you are. I don't have enough money. How much you got right now is the perfect amount to start. We are Wall Street. Now, face lift. See them where they are. Meet, take them where they gotta go. <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Tulsa guy, born and raised here. Um, love that you guys are down here yeah. helping to see an economic empowerment. Yeah. Especially being an advocate for black wealth now. You read about it, you study it, you look at the blueprint, right? And then when you get here, you like, Okay, this is strong. Yeah, like you feel something different. That's like what y'all doing. So my son is a descendant. Okay, he can be here. Man, he's doing so well, but he's already like turned me on to some investing. Like, mm -hmm. you've been helpful, man. I did you've been helping. I've been sharing your content, man. You've been I appreciate that, King. Appreciate Reginald right. Lewis. Uh huh. Why should white guys have all the fun? Uh, One of the most influential black men that ever crossed this world. This is his wife. Beautiful. Listen, y'all gonna hear more about what we got going on, man. She bought a Wall Street travel for sure. Okay. Thank you, Thank Queen. We appreciate Thank you. you. Sometimes I have to. Nah, you gotta let that flow. Nah, you gotta let that flow. I said, Mr. Wall Street, like the real Mr. Wall Street. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Wall Street. Mm. But I was I was making reference to you because I had never I've heard you but I had never seen you. Right. Oh, you okay, what's the real name? Wall. <laughs> 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 it's a fact. That's his real name. That's his, his real name is Wall Street Trapper. That's his real name. Yo, yeah, your real name? That's Wall Street Trapper. I got you. One hundred percent. Mr. Mr. Mark Cuban. Yeah, Mr. Ask Mark Cuban. Oh, Mark Cuban said, Mr. Trout. <laughs> My name is Big Queen. I'm Boone. coming, I'm coming. <laughs> no real name. It's fact. <laughs> Cheated when we don't get it. <laughs> you all know each other already. This is Kevin Kelly, the legend himself. He's um, the CEO and chairman of First Independence Bank out of Detroit. What do you believe we can do to impact the wealth gap? Yeah. Yeah. Left to right. So, Kevin, Wall Street, Trapper, Rashad, Troy, Lamar. We're moving the culture, bro. We're pushing the culture. EYL, the mothership. Y'all, the Underground Railroad. We just passing. I'm going to conduct. We would have yeah. free, free more. Yeah, if they only yeah, knew. Yeah, <laughs> if they only knew. Y'all, the Underground Railroad, bro. I'm, I'm just a conductor. I'm going to stop on a journey. You know? I want to bring out. Uh, my panel, everybody, come on out. I'm gonna bring them all out and introduce them as they come. Text your friends, tell them to come into this room. I think this is gonna be the best panel of the day. It's gonna be the best panel of the day, yes, sir. So, we have Kenneth Kelly serves as the chairman and CEO of First Independence Bank. And then we have the Wall Street Trapper. All right, known for educating, known for educating the culture on how to build wealth one share at a time in New Orleans native. Give it up for Earn Your Leisure, y'all. 
Right. Lamar Wilson started his entrepreneurial career with the purchase of two Cold Stone Creamery locations at the age of 25. The most important thing is, is understanding the power of money. So we gotta start stop, stop trading time for money, right? Understanding the power of the dollar. So the dollar itself isn't worth anything, but it's the assets that the, that the dollar can buy. So I think starting by having that conversation early of the power of money put in these vehicles where the money can grow. So making these investments, even if you stock or Bitcoin with the, with the lowest amounts you can and build it from there, that one share at a time is important because we often think we don't have enough money to invest. We often think we aren't smart enough to invest. So turning that one-time transaction to something that we buy with us a pair of pencil or a pair of jeans into a lifetime um, cash flow, a lifetime transaction, meaning instead of buying a one share of a pair of Nike, we buy the share of Nike. I, they pay you a dividend. When, when those dividends come in, if they add up to enough to buy the shoe, then ostensibly Nike bought that shoe for you. Mm -hmm. And it's just an attitude or a mind shift. So I had to go outside of my community and get information. And what happened was I was kind of going to prison. And I got the information in prison. So when I came home, I was like, yo, I'm equipped. I have the not like nobody has this. So for me, it was saying, okay, let me teach this language of this information which seems complicated to someone where I come from. Because they're smarter than what they're giving us credit for. We have the most powerful resource in the world. We have our culture. Our culture moves the entire world. I come to them and be like, yo, what do you think about this? It's because of understanding I look at them as equal and we build this together as a united <laughs> Right? I have my hoodie on very intentionally. I have my necks on very intentionally. Nobody thinks I'm a teacher. Yeah. Nobody even thinks I know anything about business or finance. Right? But we change that perception when we get up there and we speak. Whereas what this conglomerate is doing here, our unit is doing, it's transformational relationships. I give you information, you apply the information, and now it changes you, it changes your family, it changes your community. Completely different thing. And that's what we gotta do. Continuously adding value to each other. Yeah. Financial literacy is gonna save us, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna, gonna save us, like it's gonna a save us. Right it's gonna save it the is. people. Right? It's gonna save the people, man. You know what I'm saying? How you feeling, man? Thank you, you too. I'm good, man. I'm loving the work y'all doing, man. Let's see if we just get started, man. get this book. Book for Angela Davis, one of my favorites. I got this book, and I'm going to get it again. How Capitalism Undeveloped Black America. Let's get this. Let's get these. How the white is a wealth. Hold on, let me run through this right quick. The tax system impoverishes black Americans and how it can be fixed. Tell me about it. Who read it? I've read a little bit of it. Tell me about it. So it just, it talks about how the tax code was written intentionally. All right, we're good. At a point, all right, okay. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't never stop educating myself, yo. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that people don't want to do. Like, we don't want to educate ourselves, man. We think our life is going to change, wake up one day, and our life is going to be different. And that doesn't happen without education, man. Education, information changes the conversation. Once you change the conversation, you can change the compensation, you hear me? 17226. Mm, okay. Hold up, this is a good one. I, ain't, I like this one. Know your price. Valuing black lives. Valuing black lives and property in black cities. Add this one to it. Right. I just went shopping on assets. Assets don't always have to be like stocks, real estate, houses. The biggest asset you can get is information, yo. <laughs> information and then implementation, right? Right? Hearing somebody else's story on wealth and how they cops. Thank you very much, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Wall Street looks like us now. Big trap. Big trap. Big trap.